Hey, do you think satellite internet like Starlink will destroy the broadband industry? Destroy? That's a strong word. But yeah, it could shake things up. So why are you asking? I was reading about how Starlink promises super fast speeds anywhere, even in remote areas. Isn't that a death sentence for traditional broadband? Not so fast. Sure, Starlink is impressive, but it's not perfect. For starters, it's still expensive compared to broadband. True, but prices will drop as more satellites go up, right? And broadband companies can't reach rural areas easily. That's fair. Broadband struggles with infrastructure costs in remote places. But what about latency? Satellite signals travel thousands of miles to space and back. Starlink says they've solved that with low-orbit satellites. Their latency is already comparable to broadband in some cases. Okay, but weather interference is a big issue. Rain or storms can mess with satellite signals. Broadband doesn't have that problem. Good point, but fiber broadband isn't immune either. Digging trenches for cables is expensive and disruptive. Plus, natural disasters can cut lines too. True, but broadband has one thing Starlink doesn't. Reliability over time. Satellites degrade and need replacement every few years. Who pays for that? Elon Musk seems confident they can keep costs low. Besides, tech gets cheaper over time. Remember when smartphones were luxury items? Yeah, but broadband isn't going anywhere soon. It's already established in cities and suburbs. Why would people switch if their current service works fine? Because Starlink offers freedom. No more monopolies. If your local broadband provider sucks, you can finally ditch them. Monopolies are a real problem, I'll give you that. But don't forget, Starlink needs a clear view of the sky. Trees, buildings, or mountains can block signals. That's true, but they're working on ground stations to fix that. And let's be honest, broadband isn't exactly perfect either. No, it's not. But here's the thing, broadband companies won't just roll over. They'll fight back by improving services or lowering prices. Maybe. But competition is good, right? Starlink pushing broadband providers to step up their game benefits everyone. Agreed. Still, I don't think Starlink will destroy broadband. It'll coexist, maybe dominate in rural areas, but cities will stick with fiber. You might be right. But imagine this. In 10 years, we could all have gigabit internet no matter where we live. That's pretty cool. Can't argue with that. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into another tech monopoly. Fingers crossed.